is it to completely get rid of plastic by a certain time? Let's check out this interview with Minister Gilbolt and Bashi from CTV. Sure, just to, just to respectfully challenge you though, Minister, my understanding and what I've read from the decision itself was that basically Ottawa had overstepped by labeling all quote unquote plastic manufactured items as toxic under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. Evidence shows thousands of different items in that category have different uses and chemical makeups. And basically you couldn't just arbitrarily say all of them constitute the exact same level of toxicity. Is there any way to address that rather than just ask for, you know, appeal and ask for a stay? And does the ban just continue as is in the interim? Um, so, I mean, I think you and I agree that the, the, the federal court judge didn't say that federal government was overreaching on, on, on plastics. She disagreed with the characterization of plastics as, as toxics. Yeah, this is what we will be debating ban, in, 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 in the federal... In, yeah, exactly. This is... Okay, that's enough. I can't stand hearing Gilbolt talk. I'm just gonna go on a little rant here and let off some steam. Minister Gilbolt, the poster child for the 2030 globalist WEF agenda. Just look at him, wearing that shiny pin like a badge of honor. Little does he know, it's a beacon of tyranny disguised as progress. But hey, as long as it looks good on camera, right? And let's not forget about his grand plans to phase out plastic pollution by 2040. A noble goal, no doubt, but forgive me if I don't hold my breath waiting for it to happen. I mean, it's not like we have more pressing issues to deal with, like, oh, I don't know, the erosion of our national sovereignty. Oh, but Minister Gilbolt is not content with just banning single-use plastics. No, he wants to banish capitalism altogether and usher in a new era of government control. Because nothing says freedom like being told what to do by a bunch of unelected bureaucrats, am I right? And let's talk about that decline in demand for electric vehicles, shall we? It's like watching the wheels fall off the climate change bandwagon. And Minister Gilbolt is driving the bus straight off a cliff. But hey, as long as it fits the narrative right. And what's this I hear about a court ruling? Ah yes, the federal court judge reigning on Minister Gilbolt's parade. But fear not, for our fearless leader will stop at nothing to push his agenda forward, even if it means trampling on the rule of law in the process. Oh, Minister Gilbolt, you never cease to amaze with your delusions of grandeur and your blatant disregard for reality. But mark my words, the people are waking up to your charade, and soon the curtain will fall on your little puppet show. Until then, keep spinning your webs of deception, for the truth will always prevail in the end. And to all those who are tired of being fed lies and propaganda, I urge you to subscribe to this channel where we uncover the truth behind the smoke and mirrors of politics. Together, we can shine a light on the darkness and hold those in power accountable. Subscribe now and join the fight for freedom and truth. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.